Hi, I'm Narida Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you everything about a button in widget class in Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, let's begin. If you follow my playlist of videos about GUI design in Unreal Engine 5, you know that I did create a blueprint widget class and I call it BPW Hot. And in my character class, I created and after that added to viewport. Let's just add a button. When you add something, for example, to this canvas panel, this anchor, this slot in here, it will be the same no matter which widget you want to use if you use border if you use button if you use checkbox this slot will be the same so i won't talk about that a lot first thing to know about button you should know that you can add something as a child to this button so for example this text you can dr drag and drop this text in here and you can see in here the text now is the child of this button so if we change the position of this button the position of text will be changed as well so first thing you know that in a slot if we check this size to content it will stretch itself so it will be able to support the content as that it is in it right in my gui design playlist of videos i did talk about all of these options so i won't talk about it more in appearances first important thing is this uh, style and you can see it has a lot of options first of all you can see that there are four there are four property in here for uh, one normal one hover one pressed and one disabled and in normal is exactly when our mouse is not hovering over button or it, the button is not pressed and in there we can set an image we can change the image size and we can select a tint color for our button okay so whenever it's at normal state it will have all of these options and in hover when you hover over the button whatever you put in this image it will show that image in here as well you can change the image size you can change the tint color and you can see that the color of this hover is different from this normal so if we compile and run you can see that when you hover over this button it changes its color a little bit right and if you click on it you can see it again change its color so that's all these four options is all about okay whenever it's pressed it will have this color if it's disabled it will have these options in here the next four property is this normal foreground that is for the color of uh, the foreground color but what I what I found about it right now because the Unreal Engine have a lot of bugs in it I think in Unreal Engine 5 maybe at the time you see this video it will be fixed but it's just ch for changing the color of foreground okay and you can see like these four options there are four options in here for hovered foreground pressed foreground and disabled foreground okay and it will change the color of the foreground for example this normal we can change it but you can see when I change this and a compile and run nothing is changed in here nothing changed i think that's because of the bug that uh, Unreal engine 5 right now has but maybe in future it will be fixed you can change this for hover pressed and disabled as well the next property is this normal padding and what this normal padding is is let me zoom a little bit if you hover over this text box you can see that from left corner of this text box to the left corner of this slot you can see it has uh, 20 pixel and in here from left 20 pixel if we change this 20 to 40 for example and compile you can see no from the left side of this text box is 40 pixel to this left side of this slot and you can see it okay and that's all about this normal padding i want to reset it let me show you another thing it has pressed padding as well okay so whenever it's pressed we can change the padding so for example let's just change this to 30 and to the right from this side to 30 as well okay and now if we compile and run our game when we click on this you can see it changed its size okay it's changed it's padding and of course you can play a sound when it's pressed or when it's hovered it's easy you can just import a sound in here and select it from here and it will play that sound and that's all about this style in here and if you follow my videos you know that color and opacity is just for changing the color and opacity and when you set it to the white it means that whatever you put in these values options in here it will affect but if you change this background color to something like red you can see it still it has a red but with this this tint color that we set it mixed the background color and this tint color in here this tint color that we set in here so if we compile and run and you can see whenever you hover over it or click on it it will do those things that we set in a style right so the next is color and opacity this color and opacity is for 
foreground color so if we set it to white it's like doing nothing right so whatever you set in this uh, foreground colors will be affect and if you change this to something like green the color of this will be changed again let's just go to here in normal if you change it to red and change the alpha in here compile nothing happened because i think this there is bug in here so let's just not use that for no but for changing the color of whatever that is inside this button you can change this color and opacity let's just reset everything next thing that i want to talk about is behavior okay and first one is this two tip text so whatever you put in here for example help okay it will show it to you when you hover over this button so you can see it's no have a bubble that it show help it's showing text help okay and the next one if it's if it should be enabled or not of course you can bind this to variable and in blueprint you can change that variable okay so for binding first you should go to blueprint in here in graph and in here create a variable of type of boolean okay um for example should it be enabled okay and let's just compile and i want to set this to true okay and compile again go to designer and in here no i can bind this to our variable in here so whatever we change in that variable it will be affecting here so right now you know that i said this should be enabled to true so it will be true okay so it is enabled and we can click on it but if we change this variable value to false no and compile and run our game you can see now it's grayed out and you can click on it so let's just go back to designer again and in here there are some options like this visibility okay and this visibility is for collapsing and hidden over button but right now because we are we just have one button and it's in canvas panel you can't see the options that it has so if you put it on collapse it's like disabling this okay and it, it won't show it to you it's like saying hidden okay so when you just use a button that is in canvas panel and you put it in hidden or collapse both act like each other okay but if you put this button in a for example horizontal panel okay so let's just add one in here and let's just add some button to it i don't want to delete this button because i want to talk about it a lot so let's just add some button to this horizontal box tree i think is good enough to show you what this collapse and hidden is okay so you, uh, at the default the size you can see that it's a small so let's just change the size in here to fill and for all of them i want to change it to fill and you can see we have three button in this horizontal box okay so if we click on the this middle one and change its visibility to collapse okay and compile and run you can see we know we just have two button and it fill up the horizontal box but if we put it put this button to hidden it will be there and it will occupy this space and but it will be hidden so if we run no you can see there is two button and there is not any button but the space that it occupy will be there you can see it okay and that's all that this hidden and collapse is all about if you collapse it it's like saying this is disabled so give this to all the space okay so if you run again you can see there is just two buttons so let's just change it back to visible for all of them and everything is no okay so the render opacity you can change the render opacity so let's just for example in this change the render opacity you can see it's just change the opacity of our button it works but the opacity is changed let's just change it back to one again next one is this render transform and with that you can change the pivot point at default you can see the pivot point is at the middle so 0.5 and 0.5 it's like saying it's at middle so let's just click this one again and let's just collapse this and the pivot point when you put zero and zero the pivot point will be top left corner this dot in here okay so if you change the scale the scale will be happening from left to right and you can see it clearly and if you change the scale uh, uh, along the y-axis you can see it's straight from top to down okay and for shear as well it will affect it from this pivot point that we set okay and we have angle as well so uh, it rotate around the, the pivot point that is set from to be at top left corner this dot in here so let's just bring it back at default next option is this clipping so at default it's at in here inherit okay so what this inherit means it means it inherit whatever the, these options set its parent okay if we change it for example let's just change the size of this text to be bigger okay and i don't want it this button to size to content and now if i change the size of this 
text in here for example like this you can see that it get out of this button because we didn't set it to size to content okay now if we click on this button and change this clipping to clip to bone you can see it's just showing whatever that is inside this button and that's all about this clipping so let's just go go to navigation and this is the important one so let's just delete this button we don't need it and you can see there there is three button in here okay and the, in this navigation there is left right up down next and previous okay these are the buttons that is in your keyboard so when uh, when you are focused on this button and you hit left it will escape it and it will go to the left button at the left side of it right so let me test this and run and you can see if i click in here hit tab the focus is now at the this button and you can see the blue blue border around it okay if i hit right you can see i can change the focus with keyboard so for example for this button if we change the right arrow key to a stop what it happened when you are focused on this button and you hit right on your keyboard what will happen it will stay here and it won't go to the next button so let's just run again and you can see now the focus is at this button and if we hit right it won't go to the right button and the next option is this localization and it's just for saying to uh, you know that some language you should write from right to left and some language like english you you should write your characters from left to right and with this localization you can do that left to right and right to left okay and the next one is this event that is more important one okay so you can do it in here for example if if someone click on this this button let's just add a text to this button in here for you to see it clearly okay and if you create an event for this on click by clicking on this button it will go to graph and create an event for you for this button right so for example i want to say print a string and in here i want to say on clicked okay and we can do that in here as well so you click on your button and you can add whatever event you want in here so for example on press you can do that in here so print a string this is for on press and when we compile and run our game when we click click on this it says unclick and unpressed okay so let's just do that for unhovering okay so in unhovered we can do that we can say print a string and in here say unhovered and now if we compile and run our game you can see when we hover over this button it says unhovered and when we click on it it says unclick and unpressed because it's both is happening at the same time clicked and pressed okay and again we can focus on it and hit enter and it will do the same you can see it clearly so that was all about this button in widget blueprint class i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye